Welcome back. Today we'll finally sort out where these drive shafts are sitting. So then, today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be sorting out these drive shafts. I've got the half shaft and the other stub axle for the alpha engine, so now we have to mate it so it can actually get to the rover one. Uh, when, remember when we first did the subframe, I cut some little like gullies out. I thought, yeah, that'd be enough. Well, it's not. In, even if I bring the engine up more, it's then going to sit too high and we're going to run into other issues. So I've sort of come to a medium, sort of in between. I've still got to cut the rest of that tunnel out and make them, up, make them, wider, make them a bit wider. So there's a bit more cutting on the subframe, but what we're going to do first, I've got some box and we're going to make a box plate that sort of goes underneath um, we'll tack that in but before we tack them we're going to sort of wedge it out so the drive shaft's got plenty of room for clearance it should never need it but i want to be doubly sure that when i go for a speed bump or go around i don't know like a racetrack or something that i'm not all of a sudden just going to rip a drive shaft out because it's caught on something so we are going to be pulling the engine out again uh when it comes out this time we'll stay on the stand because i've got a heli coil it next weekend um, but apart from that, that's what the plan is for today. I can't say it's going to go that way. I've got jobs coming in. So it's going to be one of them days. A very hectic and out of control day. But there's one thing. We've got to do this. Let's get cracking. As you can see, this gully here is actually quite a nice bit of room in it. We're still going to put a piece of box under it and cut the bottom out just to give a bit more room. The one on the other side, on the other hand, um, this one here, the half shaft connection actually sits in there in, on that gully. It was tight before, so I knew it was going to be slightly different to the, the other one. So I have marked it. There's a mark right there and there's a mark at the top there so sort of, that's sort of like the maximum width but obviously when we cut a bit out of this side and cut this bit from underneath it we should give us plenty of room we'll, we'll keep measuring it we'll, we'll pull it off and make sure it goes in quite nicely but that unfortunately is where that one's going to have to sit we can't shorten it and we can't lengthen it really um, and it's going to be the same thing, be a tiny little drive shaft I said, which is quite nice actually um, so, I think what we're going to do is we'll, I was thinking that we'll drop the subframe out and basically pull it all apart. Um, I think we still may have to. <laughs>
So, these are the new pieces that are going in. I've just cleaned this top surface because this is the edge we're going to be welding against. So, what we're going to do now is I think we're going to cut a slot in them. Uh, basically, there's like a triangle wedge down there, and I really don't want to remove it. I'm removing too much that I'm comfortable with at the minute. If it's in the way, I'll cut it out. Um, but basically, I'm going to try and run a slot. I'm going to put it up, uh, hold it in place with a clamp, and I'm going to mark where I need to put a slot, so it slots over it in a way. We are going to cut these on an angle and fold them down either end just to make it look a bit better. But this is more than strong enough for what it needs to be. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're just going to slide under the car, mark them up where these need to go, put a clamp on it, and mark, try and mark roughly where we need to put that cut. We'll put a cut in it, um, and then we'll basically tack them in place so they obviously sit over it. There's, there's a, the other problem is, if you can just about see it there, there's a nut. I'm unsure if they, if we have to undo that nut to get the bushes off the other end, or I could weld that nut on and that. It's obviously not welded on for a reason, so I'm unsure. So we're going to leave it not welded at the minute. We've got to change these bushes anyway. Obviously, we've got to change all the bushes. So if it comes to a point where we can actually undo that and that is a perfectly fine thing, we'll probably weld it in. We won't have to worry then at that point about anything else, but until it comes to that point, we're going to do it this way with these as the new strengthening plates. Uh, that one on the passenger side, this one here, is that you're just going to go underneath. We're going to cut it down. We're probably going to leave the very bottom piece in, this very bottom piece here, and we're just going to cut the other two sides off. Just give a bit more room. That side's got plenty of clearance. This side, on the other hand, is a bit more complicated. What we may have to end up doing is sort of cutting like this sort of shape in it. Something maybe. Basically, just to allow the drive shaft, because the drive shaft end actually sits in this gully at the minute. Um, I've moved it a bit, but unfortunately, with the way that it's all mounted up, I can't move it anymore. And unless someone knows how to modify a half shaft, I can't and I'm not willing to cut into a half shaft to get it done. So we're going to slide under the car, mark them up and we'll use the big 9 inch and we'll cut a slot in it either side.
as you can see, what we've done today, I know it's not been really busy, but uh, basically put these in and we've made this gully big enough now so the, the half shaft can sit in there. As you saw this morning, the half shaft actually sits in here. Um, with it being the way it was, it'll probably sit about halfway into that gully. So we basically come here, we've put this base box and we're going to chamfer this piece of box. And that's why I put this cut in here so it can hope, maybe sit on there. I'm hoping the same on the side, we'll chamfer it down. Um, so we've done the same on both sides. Nice piece of strong box. Basically retaining the strength that's put here. Um, I think what I'm also going to do is from here to the top here is I'm probably going to run a piece of tube just to strengthen it up a bit. I know I've removed quite a lot here and this probably isn't enough to reinforce it. So what we're going to do before we put it back on the car because obviously we don't want the strain on it. I'm going to get a piece of tube from here to here and basically weld it on there basically there and there just to give it sort of like a trunk that's it gives it plenty of room then and we're going to trim this down a bit more and those kind of intuitive as it sounds we're going to trim this down then we're going to put a piece in here as well maybe a piece down i'm not too sure yet but basically we'll have to re re-add the strength we've taken out which we will do anyway and so we've done the same on this side as well this one isn't as drastic as this side because this one just sits with like a sort of dry shaft that will go through it as the, see that doesn't quite fit, which is what we needed the other side to do. So that's the half shaft that will fit, it does fit in there now, quite nicely. Brian, so as you've just seen, uh, I am going to call it a day, it's uh, been quite a busy day. <laughs> uh, the reason why it's uh, I've, it's been a bit all over the place as I was actually doing a customer's car today and uh, it was worse than we expected so uh, that's why it's uh, probably going to be a will be a short one this week um, but as you've just seen what we've done is we've uh, welded a piece of box on the bottom to retain the strength of obviously removing the box on the top I know I was going to have to do it I had to do it anyway uh, but now we've made enough space for that um, one to go through. We're gonna, I'm probably going to linish it back a little bit. I'm not going to try and cut anymore. I'm just going to try and linish them straight. Um, next weekend, I think what we're going to do is we're going to weld everything onto the subframes that needs welding on and uh, tidy up. A, we need to make these holes slightly bigger where we're, um, where we're putting a uh, ratchet through to get the bolts on. So I struggled with that one. Not too sure why, I don't know if as I've pulled it out, it's twisted itself. It did look like it had twisted itself, so it might have just been the fact I hadn't wiggled the arm enough. Um, it's a pain, a pain, but I suppose it's the way it's going to go with this car. I think whilst we're welding all this up next weekend, all the subframe and getting the subframe right, I think we'll probably weld up all of this in here as well. There's one more bar to go in, but unfortunately I can't put it in yet until the rest of the engines like the inlet manifold turbo. Once everything's on and the radiators and that, I can actually run the one that's meant to go at the front and the one that's meant to go at the back. There's meant to be two sort of sway arms or, uh, yeah, basically anti sort of shim arms or um, anti, what the, it's basically a fucking strengthening bar. Um, as much as I think the car's got way too much strength at the back, I don't think it's got enough at the front. So once it's all welded up, we're going to run basically one from the um, centre of the shock absorber tower to the other one, and that will strengthen the back up, hopefully. And then there'll be one that will run either in front or behind the radiator. It should sit, the way, I've, um, the way I drew it out, it should sit just between the front of the car and the front of the subframe. But apart from that, I am done for the day. So thank you very much for watching. If you're enjoying the videos, please smash that like button, drop a comment, and we'll see you next time.